Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Ma'am Erda. Hi ma'am. I hope you are fine. Okay, this is my presentation about my proposal with the title Semantic Analysis of Imam Shafi'i's Poetry on the Theme of Patient. Okay, in this title, I will uh, I will share about my research. My, this is my contents, introduction, literature review, literature review and my methodology. My introduction, uh, I want to present about my, my slide, I want to present my research is about the literature terms. Okay, literature have many terms uh, that people use to in language system. And literature have uh, different different parts uh, that have used. So, my research, I will study about the semantic. Semantic uh, in literature, uh, we study about the definition or the meanings of the words. And how we use the word to describe in the poetry or any linguistic in this in any linguistic term that we use like uh, any essay but significantly uh but it uh, actually we can see in uh, the poet uh, poems okay the poetry that i have choose uh, is uh, from a arabic literature which imam shafi'i we have created many poems that use the semantic okay semantic i have divided into two the connotative and denotative. So I choose the connotative because it's learn about the mental language, and this mental language is represent the imagination, the uh, how we express the feelings, and how we express our emotions through the words. Uh, okay. My statement of problem is first Imam Shafi'i. Why I choose him? Imam Shafi'i has used many beautiful words that we can learn from the definition of the word. To define something in his poem. Okay. The second one is the recognizing the interior significance behind the semantic used by the Imam Shafi in verse. And the third, the correct utilization. Words can pass significant precisely with no genuine misconception. Misconception mean uh, we don't want, uh, we want to study if the words have brings a different definition, different terms or different meanings for each people and how they translate it. And the fourth is the utilization of the wrong words can make it hard to comprehend and create to model for the idea. So we want to study and how we want to solve if the word can be wrong and, and or can be right. It's depending on how people describe it. Okay. Alright. This is just my... <laughs> Alright. This is my research objective and question. I start with my question. First, how did Imam Shafi'i become a great Arabic scholar by his poem? How he become a great listening uh, linguistic person? And second one, what kind of quantitative semantic is contained in the poem of Imam Shafi'i? Uh, what type of uh, the imagination, uh, how he described his feeling through his poem while using the quantitative semantic. And the third one, how Imam Shafi'i used the words to describe the patience in to figurative meaning uh, in his poem. Uh, the, the, the words uh, patient uh, that he used maybe have different terms for his poems. Okay, to answer that, I have my objectives. First, to recognize the background of Imam Shafi'i, how he be the great literature guy. And second one, to find out the use of quantitative semantics in poetry of Imam Shafi'i and we want to analyze this description the words of passion in Imam Shafi'i poems all right this is my literature review as you can see first is Balagah in Arabic language second one is Imam Shafi'i the poet the third one is Arabic poetry for the connotation and uh, an overview and the last one is semantics in literature all right this is my theoretical framework that I have choose from the theory of connotation by Williams of Ockham Okay, the connotation have divide the connotation is the mental language that we have divided into term two two different type of mental language is categorical terms and syn syn category term. I'm sorry, I can influence the words is so hard. The then the my conceptual framework is this one is connotation as the theory. The I choose the categorical the group of mental language that I have choose is categorical. And they has defined into two absolute term and quantitative term that I will explain in my proposal. And then after we use it, we can use we can see and we can find it in Imam Shafi'i in poems because it's suitable for the literature. Okay, this is my methodology. First one is research design. My I choose qualitative because it's suitable 
compared to the quantitative quantitative and my corpus or my scope only in Imam Shafiq and poem of course I will choose two different poems okay my data collection is uh, from internet or the online website or any article that I pick from the internet so I will study about it and then my data analysis I use the thematic analysis and identify the common theme I I read the topics and the idea and the patterns of meaning in words through uh, Imam Shafi'i poems and my use, I use the six steps that we can find in thematic analysis first is familiar, familiarization second one is coding next generate, generate the themes and we reviewing themes and we define it and naming the themes and the last one is write up the data alright that's all okay this is a from Imam Shafi'i my heart is at ease knowing that what was mean for me will never miss me and that what I miss I never mean for me okay that's all thank you for watching my presentation thank you ma'am I'm sorry if there are any less or any you feel unsatisfied about me I'm sorry ma'am okay thank you ma bye